Hello, Klaus here with another video about how to use DaVinci Resolve as your editor. So without further ado, let's go to the edit suite. Okay, so today we are going to continue looking into the tools of DaVinci Resolve. Um, this time we want to, I want to be more focused on the source monitor window. As you can see, here we have our source clip. I put in an in point, an in, uh, I, and um, an out point by pressing Oh. So, and then down here we have these controls. By clicking this, I can just place in a clip. I'll just delete that again. As you see here, override a clip, and here I can replace a clip. There is also another way of doing this. This is by taking your clip and drag it to the corner and just go to insert. And it's inserted. So, the main reason of doing it uh, so is you can do more advanced stuff. So let's see, I'll take another clip here. Uh, let's put an in point and an out point. And then I'll drag it here and I'll go to override. I just have to remember to click the icon first. Then you go to override and as you see, it will replace the clip one, but only with the, the length. The clip two was shorter than the first, so it will only replace it by the length of the second clip. So let's delete that. Okay, let's go further with this. And here you can... Okay, it's just we have to remember to click. Yeah, and then you can just replace the entire clip just like that. And um, I mean, this is pretty handy if you want to shift around very fast. So, the second one, let's uh, take these clips here. And then let's say, put them right back. Okay, then let's say that we want to change the middle clip. We'll put the cursor to the middle clip here. And then we'll just put it on, on that clip. So that is selected, and then we'll select that. So imagine we delete that clip, we want to put something new in, but we want to keep the same space from the first clip to the third clip. So let's insert, let's take something from here. So all you have to do is you have to put in an in point, so uh, I, and you don't have to care about the end point at all. It will do that by itself. So we'll just fit to fill, whoop, voila, like that. We have now uh, a new clip in our edit, as you see. So we'll go from this to the new clip and then to the amazing third clip here. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So let's just find a new clip here. And then you can place on top, and that is if you want to do editing in dual layer. So it will put it on the top. And that's pretty useful if you're doing an interview and you want to have some B-roll on top. So, yeah, let's delete that and go to the next one. So let's see, let's, the next one is place at end, and that's just at the end of your timeline. That's pretty, also pretty useful, but oh, let's delete that. Take the another one, and uh, the, the last one is a ripple overwrite. And it is basically the same thing. It will just replace the last clip if you're selected. So I hope you found that useful. If you did find this useful, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.